when you bring the mind to the breath, part of the mind is going to cooperate and other parts are going to want to go off someplace else. And in dealing with those other parts, you have to figure out how much effort do you have to put into not going with them. In some cases, all you have to do is just notice, okay, the mind has wandered off, you come back, and that's it. It doesn't require a lot of effort, a lot of thinking. Other times you have to think quite a bit, because if the thought keeps coming back again and again and again, then you have to start taking it apart. What is it about this thought that it's so attractive? Why does it seem so compelling? Sometimes it's because your level of energy is down so that whatever is going to come in the mind just keeps coming in, in which case you've got to do something to ramp up the energy of your meditation. Other times it's because the thought really does have a hook, and you've got to learn how to find the hook and cut it. Certain thoughts really have an appeal. They tell stories that go along with other stories that you find important or find interesting or entertaining. And all of a sudden, there you're off with it. So you have to ask yourself, okay, what really is the hook here, and is it really worth getting involved in? Because many times, these, as with a lot of the hooks out in adver the advertising world, if you actually look at it very directly, you see that it's pretty meager. And it's simply because it has a whisper of a suggestion. You go with it. So try to shine the light of your awareness on these thoughts to see, well, where are they coming from? Why do I go with them? Wouldn't I be better off without them? And learn how to breathe in a way or perceive this in a way that allows you to see that the thought is not really worthwhile, not really all that interesting. It's very rare that in the course of meditation you have a thought that's really all that original. Most of our thoughts are old movies, they come back again and again and again. And it's not because they're such good movies that they come back, but there is a hook someplace. So you want to look for that. What this means is when you're meditating, you can't have just one way of dealing with distractions. Sometimes you have to do some thinking. Other times what you have to do is just breathe through it. Notice where in the body there is some tension that corresponds to that thought. Just breathe through the tension, and it's gone. This is what's meant by appropriate effort. We know the t image of tuning the, the lute or tuning the vena. What that means is it has to be appropriate for that particular vena, that particular lute. In the same way, an issue comes up in the meditation. Sometimes it requires a lot of effort and a lot of thinking before you get past it. Others, doesn't require much effort at all. Just look at it and it's gone. So right effort means appropriate effort, just right effort. And learning how to sense that is one of the important skills in the meditation.